Hold Your Hat by Nastola Games is super simple, and I'm going to teach you how to play it today. And after I teach you how to play it, I am going to give you my final thoughts and let you know what I think of this game. First thing you're going to do is you're going to break your play group up into two groups. Once you have done that, you're going to have each group pick one of the colors here. So say we have one team that picks blue and one team that picks purple. You're going to put the rest of the colors back into the box. The reason why you pick different colors is the words that you're going to be guessing on the cards are different colors. So this will let you know which word you're supposed to be trying to get your partner to guess. A turn consists of one of the team members trying to get their team member to guess the word. There are three different sets of rules based on whichever round you're in. In round one, you are allowed to do a description. You just can't do derivatives of the word or shortened versions of the word, but you can say basically whatever you want to try and get them to get the word. In round two, you're only allowed to say a singular clue that is a singular word and trying to get them to get that word. In round three, you can do all the gestures that you want and make noises, but you're not allowed to say any words to try and get them to guess the word or set of two words. In all three rounds, you're allowed to let your partner know whether or not it is one word or two words. You're going to go back and forth with the other team until all of the cards in the stack have been guessed correctly. Once all of the cards have been guessed correctly for the round, you shuffle them back up and start over on the next round. Once you've done three rounds, you add up the points for each of the rounds together, and that's your winner. The big thing that makes this one different from a lot of other clue guessing games is the hat cards. These will give you special powers that you're able to use on either your turn or on your opponent's turn to try and give yourself an advantage or take away an advantage from the other team. Super simple game. Now I'll give you my final thoughts on what I think of the game. Hold Your Hat is super fun. I really like it. It is table friendly. It's shelf friendly. It's budget friendly. And you can really get away with this in any age. I played this with my family primarily, and we all had a lot of fun, especially once it got to the gesture round, then we were all laughing and giggling. Some of the words are super hard to try and get people to get, especially in the second or third round, but that just adds to the fun. If you're someone who likes party games like this or guessing games, or things like uh, Taboo or something like that, then I would definitely recommend picking up this game. Please let me know if you like this video by liking the video. Leave a comment down below. Have you tried to hold your hat? What have you thought of it? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up and we'll catch you in the next one. Tasia Valenza, aka Poison Ivy, and you've just been watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch.